One of the biggest issues with 5G is the fact that it's going into the gigahertz frequency ranges that are, it goes from, I think it's 5 gigahertz to 100 gigahertz, where the mobile towers, the mobile phones, wireless, internet, etc., is below that. The military industrial complex, they have, you know, produced more than 8,500 different documents where they are basically patented uh, specific frequencies at specific pulse ranges with all kinds of, you know, it's the military, with all kinds of uh, effects of, you know, f going everywhere from killing people to putting voices in their heads and they think they're talking to God to uh, the devil come in and talk to them in their heads to crowd control, mind control, manipulations, causing cancer within a human being in human tissue like this infertility, all that stuff. It's all been patented by the military. These frequencies are well known. The scary part of fi about 5G is that 5G is within the frequency bandwidth of all those patents. So basically, if you're living in a city that has 5G antennas everywhere, who is stopping them from transmitting these frequencies to targeted individuals? or to the whole city. The best way you can describe it is like if you take a um, tone, an opera singer that sings to this um, wine glass, if they can sing in a specific tone and makes it vibrate at a certain level, then after some time, a couple of minutes, it breaks. Now the same octave higher, the glass will break too, but faster the same octave higher and higher and higher. And so if you go up in really high octaves, the glass will break almost instantly. The problem with 5G is that it's many octaves higher than the wireless radiation we're having right now, the mobile phone towers, etc. So by way of introduction, adaptive phased array antenna systems have been explored by numerous researchers since the 1950s. The primary functions of a phased array antenna system are to rapidly steer beams, in some cases with multiple phase centers, and low side lobes. So by definition, a phased array antenna aperture would consist of two or more transmitting or receiving antenna elements that can be used together to form a directional radiation pattern. So clearly, um, arrays are a very um, central technological tenet for, for 5G technologies. With that said, you can see right here the human body resonance frequencies. You're hanging out anywhere from you know 20, 50 hertz, maybe up to 100 hertz, depending on what part of your body is resonating. That's the average. You can look at the human resonance. You know you're hanging out there in the low hertz range. Maybe you'll bump up to 7.83 hertz. That's the fundamental electromagnetic low frequency. See right here, 33.8 hertz is where it peaks. But what are we doing when we get into the 5G stuff? Well, 5G is going to be going anywhere from... 5G stands for fifth generation, okay? So currently, third generation, fourth generation networks are set up for your internet, for your smartphones, etc. If that isn't bad enough, and if you haven't seen enough of these towers popping up all over the world, I don't know where you're at, but here in the States, they're popping up all over the place, next to schools, next to nursing homes, next to apartment buildings, next to houses, next to stores, next to storage facilities... 5G, T-Mobile is going to deploy 5G to 30 cities this year. New York, Los Angeles, the chief technolo uh, da -da -da -da, technology officer, Neville Ray, said on Tuesday at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona, the company still plans to launch the service next year and provide nationwide coverage by 2020. 5G, exactly. It is a various level of frequencies to bring you faster download speeds and the implications of what this can do physically, biologically, human life, animal life, plant life, etc., is quite spooky. Also, if you look at how detrimental smart meters can be, this 5G stuff takes it to a whole new level and the mind control capabilities, the frequency generation weapon capabilities with current patents and patents that have been around 30 years you could tweak things just a little bit and it could get really, really, really bad. So